Hello my Leos, this is Deborah, Deborah Claire Channel Guidance and this is mid-October 2020. Thank you guys for being here um, and thank you so much for your supporting the channel. I don't say it enough so thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. I hope everyone is well. Um, Leo, I've just come out of a very deep meditation and there is going to be a big decision that you're going to need to make at this time. Um, I'm feeling a lot of nervous energy, but I've also been feeling a sense of excitement. This could have been something that you have been waiting for for quite a while. Um, this could be a complete life shift. Whatever this decision is, Leo, it is going to have repercussions for potentially quite a few years into the future. So this is going to be a big decision. OK, um, Michael hasn't told me a lot more. Um, I have been asking questions. You know, can you expand on this for, for my Leos? Can you say anything else? He said, no, Deborah, that's all you need to know. So, <laughs> Leo, let's just find out what is going to be happening for you for this period of time. Here we go. So, Archangel Michael, thank you for being here. This is going to be a reading for my Leos. Seeing a big letter R in my head. And I'm hearing the words about time, about time. <laughs> Somebody might have taken their time. OK. Yeah. All right. So, Michael, who do we have with us, please? Archangel Azrael, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Sandalfon. Thank you, Michael. OK. All right. Let's find out. My two spirit guides, Angela and Rose, are with me. Archangel Michael is on my left. His right hand on my shoulder, as always. I'm closing my eyes and shuffling, and there's a beautiful blue aura around me. Very calm, very peaceful. He says he's settling my energies. Interesting. Okay. Yep, stop. Wow. I'm hearing the words, some wishes do come true. <laughs> okay. Wow, Leo. Mm -hmm. Let's see. All right, let's see. Okay, and I'm hearing wishing upon a star. There's something that you have wished for, Leo. Some of you, you... I've been wanting to manifest a situation, maybe back in. I wanted to tack back in on the end of that. Manifesting a situation back in. Something that was very dear to your heart. Someone, potentially, who was dear to your heart. And it's interesting because we here we have you needing to make a big decision. Okay. I'm hearing Scorpio. I'm also hearing Capricorn. I'm hearing Sagittarius. Wow. Okay. We have Cancerian energy. Strong trio of major arcana there. All right. Yeah, you're going to need to be very strong, Leo, in making this decision. There's a fear of making the right decision. Okay. Hmm. Whatever you're doing, Leo, you're taking charge. Of a situation. And you're moving into. What Michael is telling me is destiny. Destiny. 
There could be someone opening up to you to express that they're ready to put in effort into a connection because you've been missed, Leo. You've been missed. Wow. Underneath the deck, we have Scorpio. Magician, again, Scorpio, potentially Virgo, potentially Gemini energy. Manifesting a huge change, a big life shift. Wow, Ace of Swords. Truth, clarity coming through. Clarity, maybe that someone has detached from someone else, maybe, to move back towards you. Interesting. Wow. So, underneath that, five of wands in reverse coming out of inner conflict, and we have the star, Aquarian energy. But this is a wish come true, Leo. Okay? Beautiful. All right, guys, moving the camera a fraction. Do forgive some of the light shining on the cards, okay? There we go. So, yes, we start, Leo, with Pisces. Some of you are connecting with the Pisces. Others of you, you have been sitting in your soul, is what I'm hearing. You've been sitting in your soul, listening to your soul, listening to what you're wanting, manifesting a very strong telepathic connection with someone this could be a very deep soulmate. This could be divine twin energy. We have two cards of the divine masculine energy come through. Okay. We have the divine saying, you have to now make a decision, Leo. It is time. There may not have been any communication with someone for quite a while. I think that is going to change. Because the divine is coming in saying, now is the time. This is divine timing. Something's coming in, Leo, that you have been manifesting. Powerful energy. In the past, there was a lot of disappointment that you went through with the Three of Cups in the reverse. You could have been pulled into some kind of love triangle. Someone just didn't disconnect from someone else. You might have found out. You might already have known. Well, there was a sense of disappointment because you didn't come together with someone that you really wanted to. There was no reunion. A lot of disappointment. But I think you put that in the past. You moved on. And you met someone else. Knight of Cups, younger water sign coming in for some of you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Scorpio, Cancer and Pisces shown. So I think this connection helped you heal your heart. I think it also helped you open up your heart because I think you closed down your emotions after this situation. It might have been destiny, this person came into your life to show you that you could still love. You had it within you to fall in love again. And you might have done. Whatever's happening now, Leo, you've realized that your emotions have balanced out Maybe because of this person helping you heal. This might have been a fleeting relationship. It could have been something very intense. It could have been someone who showed you that they really cared. And you realized there is potential for me in the future with someone else, even if this didn't work out. So in your mind now, you're sitting in the Queen of Cups. You are open to love. 
This is a very warm, nurturing, giving energy. You could have a lot of water in your chart, Leo. Maybe rising moon and Venus. This is you ready to move into a new relationship. You're ready to also express your emotions. Because there's someone coming in Leo who wants to be with you. And I think that you're ready to embrace this. Michael, we have the chariot in the immediate future. What is the timing of that, please? Thank you. He's just saying the beginning of November. Okay, the beginning of November. Usually for me, that would be the last week of October, the first week of November, around that time. It's universal timing. It's just very general. So we have the chariot. And what I'm feeling here, Leo, to be honest, is that you have a decision to make between two. Yeah. I think the decision you have to make is between someone who might have broken your heart in the past, pulled you into a third party that you struggled to move on from, but you did, and a separate energy. Someone who could be a younger water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, all have water in their rising moon or Venus. I'm feeling Scorpio very strongly. We have Scorpio here. You have to make a decision because there is love wanting to infiltrate its way into your life and you are ready. But who do you want, Leo? What is the choice that you're going to make? What is the decision? You're leaning very heavily on your intuition. You've learned a great deal. You've learned some painful lessons. And now the divine is saying, you have to make this choice. Who do you want, Leo? Do you want the person who broke your heart in the past, who may now have actually decided to change their situation to be with you? That took a lot for this person to do that. You're weighing that up. Or are you wanting to move towards the person who was coming back around, who helped you heal your heart? Someone that you have a lot of respect for, somebody that you had very strong feelings for quite quickly. That you felt you could trust, you felt you could rely on that person. There is no indication of what happened with that person. It might be that you walked away because you were still healing from someone else. But this person did help you heal your heart and now you have a choice. You're looking at these cards these energies. I have to make a decision, but I know I need to go with my intuition to make this decision. This may be difficult, Leo. In the environment, Ace of Cups. This is a big offer of love. I don't know if this is going to lead to commitment, but this is a lot of love that's being offered to you. It is divine love. It's someone who is wanting to show you their heart, their emotions. They're wanting to open up. You're very focused on making the right decision, Leo, because you're not looking at that cup. You're looking at making a decision and using your intuition interesting energy. For some of you, you're weighing up. Should I use my intuition or should I use my logic in this? I think the divine is saying both, Leo. Weigh up the facts, ask the questions, have the conversations, but go with your heart. What is your heart telling you to do? Which of these two people do you feel most aligned with? What do you want for your future? Which person is going to help you build the future 
that you desire? Who is going to stand by your side in the next few years? Who are you aligned with? In terms of your fears, strength in reverse, fearing that you're not going to have the courage and confidence to make that decision. But Leo, are you going to let two opportunities go because you can't make that decision? Many people aren't that lucky to have two choices. For some of you, you're fearful that maybe one particular person who is coming forward to you, offering you love, is going to be disappointed. For some reason, Leo, you're lacking confidence in yourself, in what you can give to the connection. But in a way, Leo, it's rather nice because you're coming through with a tinge of insecurity, which is actually very humbling for you because you're usually full of fire, full of confidence, taking the world by storm. But I think you know that it's your emotions where you feel most vulnerable. But actually, by letting that vulnerability show, you're going to see the true nature of these two options, of how these two people react to you showing your vulnerability, your slight insecurity. Are they going to be kind and understanding? Are they going to be impatient? It's important you your true self. You show your true self in order to help you make your decision. What, of course, you're hoping for with the Seven of Pentacles is to be with somebody that you can develop a connection with who is going to be your partner, your life partner. Somebody you can build with, somebody who is going to put in the effort to create a life with, to create memories with, you're wanting long term. For some of you, you're hoping to remain financially stable with whomever you decide to walk forwards with. Maybe you have started your own business, maybe you have progressed in your career and you're very keen to keep your financial independence. So that could also be a factor. Are both of these choices equally financially independent? In the outcome, we have the Emperor. You may be connecting with an Aries or somebody with Aries in their chart. But this could also be your energy, Leo. You could know how much you can give to a connection. You know your worth, even though there's a slight tinge of insecurity that you're fearful of relaying, you're fearful of showing. You know your worth. You've built up yourself from the ground up. You've faced challenges, obstacles, heartbreak. You've been through it. You don't want to risk going through that again. So you're going to make a very wise decision. You're going to take control of the situation and make the right choice for you. This is interesting energy. This is the energy of one of the people that are going to be offering you love for you to make your decision. This person in particular, with the Eight of Cups, has left a connection behind in the past. So. This could have been someone that pulled you into a third party in the past who has now changed their situation. They're very confident that you are going to take them back because they're looking at the Wheel of Fortune. They feel that this is a destined connection. And they're wanting to move forward in a new life cycle with you, Leo. With the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, this is someone who could have been watching you for a long time, maybe on social media, keeping tabs on you. Are you seeing anyone? Are you single? 
They're now ready to open up. They're now ready to express their feelings. And what they could be saying to you is, yes, with the Six of Pentacles, I'm ready to put in the effort now. I'm ready to potentially give you the relationship that I know you deserve. I'm here. So Leo, should we clarify? Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the chariot? This is you needing to make a decision. You're procrastinating a little bit. You're very nervous about making a decision because this is a very big deal for you. You may also be looking back at everything you went through and there's a sense of needing to take control and also a little bit of inner conflict. Who can I trust? Who should I move forward towards? There's going to be communication I'm feeling with both. Okay. Let's just see your energy here. Yes, Queen of Wands. So you're standing very firmly in your truth, in your power. You could be looking pretty good at the moment, at this time, I should say. You're ready to take action. This is a very passionate, dynamic energy. But little do the two people know, probably two guys here, who are vying for your attention, it seems, that underneath this image is you feeling a little bit insecure, a little bit nervous. Am I making the right decision? Yes, you're standing at crossroads. You have a choice between two paths. There's inner conflict, of course there would be. Very rare that you meet someone in your life that you feel you could move forwards with, let alone two people. So you're not wanting to get this wrong. And there could be passionate communication. And there could be travel in order for you to make this decision. Shall we see who is in your environment? Archangel Michael, can we have more clarity on the Ace of Cups, please? Okay, with a Hierophant in reverse, Leo. This first person has potentially gone through divorce and they are now single. They've come out of overanalyzing and overthinking about this connection. And they've come to the realization that they do want to offer you a start of what might turn into a commitment. Michael's telling me second person. Interesting. Okay, so this could be, sorry, the first person could be an earth sign, a Taurus in particular, um, or someone that you know that you were pulled into a connection with in the past. You will know if this resonates with you. So we have potentially a second person who could be a Sagittarius who might have let go of a karmic partner or who might have let go of an earth sign woman. This could be a younger man. I'm also hearing Scorpio, so this could be a Sag with Scorpio in their chart, vice versa. But this is someone moving passionately towards you. They are in love with you. King of Cups. 
Michael's saying dual energy. Okay, so Leo, both of these men want to offer you commitment. This could be marriage, living together. This is serious. And both of them have been considering this love with you. And both are now wanting to be with you. Oh my goodness, Leo. Cars are flying. Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the Emperor? Who is Leo going to choose? <clears throat> Who is Leo going to choose? Wow, I'm feeling very, very strong twin flame energy. Okay. Very strong. Okay. Two of Cups. So Leo, you're going to be making a decision based on your heart, your intuition. Who really fulfills me? Who really tugs at my heartstrings? Who do I feel most connected to? Wow. So we have the Emperor and the Empress, Leo. So this could be twin flame connection. You could be moving towards someone that you feel is your true divine twin. This is marriage. So maybe for some of you, you are moving towards the person who actually offers you a traditional relationship. Marriage. With the hangman in reverse, there's no more waiting. There's no more feeling stuck in your own situation. This is wake up call. This is the person I want to be with. This is Pisces energy. The Knight of Swords, communication between the two about commitment. We have strong earth energy, we have Taurus, Taurus, Aries, Pisces, Libra energy, and we have the Ten of Cups, Leo. So you're going to be making a decision, beautiful under the deck, the star, twin flame union. Now that is Aquarius. You'll be making the decision based on your heart, Leo. And for each of you, this is going to be very different. But what I can tell you is that this is going to be life changing. This is going to be, for some of you, quite shocking. That this situation has happened. But you're going to be very much going with your intuition. And this is divinely guided, Leo. And this will be a welcome change of life after maybe some very painful lessons that you've had to endure. So for those of you this resonates with, congratulations. <laughs> so Leo, if this was your story and you want to see how things work out for you, do reach out. It's DebraClaire.com. Details always in the description box. If you're on Instagram, you can join me, Deborah Claire Channel Guidance. But for now, Leo, I'm leaving that there. And I'll be back very soon with your TGIF love readings. See you soon. Bye now.